Cranberry Jam. Now this is a Lego track crossing, and you can use it to make train tracks cross over each other. If you've got one of these, you can make your track into an infinity loop figure of eight shape. But if you've got two of them, you can run two separate loops for two trains by putting them together like this. These two curves form one corner each of our looping tracks. Now with this kind of junction, crashes are guaranteed. That's cool for five minutes, but really we need to find a way to manage that. We've covered light sensors before, and we know that one motor controller can drive two motors, so we don't need much to automate these two tracks with the Arduino. We'll just place our light sensors a little bit away from the junction, so that the trains have space to stop, and then we'll connect the two tracks to the motor controller. Now there's a really simple way to solve this. One train goes round all the time, and the other train stops if the junction is blocked. That'll work, but it's boring because one train never stops. What I want is a true junction, where either train could stop if the other train got there first. That's more interesting, but a bit harder to program. So let's take a look at the code. Here's the Arduino IDE. Just like our previous tutorials, we need to declare the light sensors and the motor control pins, plus a few variables to control the sensitivity and how long the trains stop at the junction for. This mixture of code are the states, and this shows a completely new approach to programming our Arduino. Notice that we've got five states, each with simple names and a number from 0 to 4, which really means 1 to 5. In our program, we're going to set the Arduino to one of these five states, and it'll do that one thing and nothing else. That's called a finite state machine, and we're going to build one down in the loop. Before we get there, we need to set the motor pins up, set the train speeds, and activate the train motors. So here in the loop, we've got our five states. You make a state with the case command, and inside it you create little functions. You use the switch command to switch between them, and I've created five states because I've imagined five scenarios on our track. Scenario one is that there are no trains at the junction. No train has hit a sensor yet. In that situation, we want to read the sensors and get the trains moving. And here are two conditions. If the green sensor is triggered, save the time and change the state to green train detected, which is scenario two. Likewise, if the red sensor is triggered, save the time and change the state to red train detected, which is scenario 3. Now here is scenario 3. If the red train was detected, we check the green sensor and the timer. If the timer runs out, which is 3 seconds, go back to the first state, because the red train must have moved all the way across the junction. But if the green train is detected while the red train is still in the junction, change the state to scenario 4, green train off. Of course, if the green train was detected first, we switch to scenario 2 and make the same check with the red sensor. If the red train is then detected, that's scenario 5, red train off. And these are the two off states. Turn off the second train to reach the junction until three seconds have passed since the first train arrived. And we can change that interval from 3 seconds to 5 or 10 seconds by changing the interval value in the variables. For your own train, choose an interval and the correct train speeds to match the length of your train. Fast short trains can have shorter intervals, slow long trains need long intervals. And here's the system in action. Here the blue train is using the green sensor and the black train is using the red sensor. They're both the same length so they're set to the same speed. Let's plug them in and watch them go. When you do this yourself, keep track of which trains move too slowly or too fast and adjust the ENA and ENB values accordingly. It'll take a few attempts, so look forward to plenty of crashes along the way.
Thanks for watching.